Now we're streaming all the time, which is good, cause you know, I love a good movie, TV documentary situation, but I'm also in love with finding a good book. And I hope you are too, because the next one on your list is called Girl Forgotten, written by the author of more than 20 instant New York Times best-selling novels, one of which is now a Netflix series called Pieces of Her. And we've got her joining us live on Zoom today. It's Karen Slaughter. Hi, Karen. Hello, thanks for having me. No, t no problem. Thank you so much for being here. I'm obsessed. <laughs> so first, I got to say congrats on the Netflix series pieces of her. I mean, that has to be exciting. Were you just surprised to see how quickly it caught on with fans? Yeah, I mean, it's been really super rewarding to get all these messages on Facebook and Instagram and whatever about people being so excited. I wish I could take more credit for it, but Tony Collette did an amazing job as Laura. And I mean, she just really brings the story home in a passionate uh, and compassionate way. I mean, the cover art alone, when I saw it, I was like, give it to me now. <laughs> I have to read this. And now with this new novel, uh, Girl Forgotten, it's another page turning thriller. And we're back in a small town trying to solve this murder. I mean, I love it. But I am curious to just ask an author, what's with these small towns in thriller novels? I mean, nothing good ever happens. Well, you know, a lot of people think of big cities as being really violent, horrible places. I live in Atlanta and it, I think it's a wonderful place to live. But if you really follow crime and the really dastardly crimes, usually they happen in small towns. So, you know, it seems like a normal place to set a thriller because that's where all the action is. Ooh, that's very true. And I think the smaller the town, the more everybody's in your business. It makes for a very good book. I just had to ask. <laughs> now, were you reading mystery and suspense stories growing up? Because I mean, with all of your success, I have to believe it came from somewhere. Absolutely. You know, and if I have to give credit to anyone, it's the librarians at my local library who put wonderful books in my hands like Agatha Christie and Nancy Drew. And later I read some Patricia Highsmith and Flannery O'Connor since I'm from the southern part of Georgia. Everybody had to read her. And I just really developed a love of reading, but also a love of storytelling from being in the stacks. I love that. And you know, you're known for incorporating social issues into your work, but there's this balance that you maintain between writing about social issues and keeping the pace of a thriller. Just how do you do it? Well, I never want to sacrifice story for a message. It all has to be incorporated seamlessly. And, you know, a lot of people talk about stories about women as being politicized, but I don't think it's a political uh, decision to say that violence against women is a bad thing or sexual violence is a bad thing. I think we can all agree on that. And I just want to show it through the lens of women who experience these crimes. And also in the case of Girl Forgotten, there's a U.S. Marshal named Andrea Oliver, and she's in charge of preventing more of these crimes from happening. Yeah. And, you know, I, so my probably most important question for me, you know, I didn't know that Pieces of Her was going to be a Netflix series. So I want to get out ahead of the ball. Uh, do you think that we will be seeing Girl Forgotten on our TV screens or even the big screen? You know, and how do you know when it's time to take it to that next level? And um, how can I be involved? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, I don't know anything. I know as much as you do. We'll see what happens with Netflix, but I'll tell them that you're interested. Oh, thank you, girl. Drop my name in there. <laughs> thank you so much, Karen, for being here. We really appreciate your time. Everyone, go out, get a uh, girl, um, go get this, uh, this new book. Uh, 